golden hour but it's 8 a.m look at that like what the sun you can't beat the sun i was just watching someone's vlog and they were complaining about london i was like child it's cold there sorry it's cold it's cold for uganda here but it's just perfect to me i'm like let's get it anyway to my tribe welcome back to another vlog you guys what's up what's up today we have a busy day um, i'm actually here at le petit village just to take some photos for a client and some last minute videos that I forgot to take. Not that I forgot, there was just no time to do it. Schedules were flashing the last two weeks, so now I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna pop in, take them, and go. <laughs> uh, then we have to go film a um, property later, and then we're gonna be in Antipas. I'm really excited, because I need to lose some. All right, I'm a little bit early, so they're still cleaning. So I'm just like, let me let them finish. I don't wanna be late for filming in Chico. They actually, let me call them just to make sure we're on the same. But isn't this studio so nice? So this side's makeup with Mona and the other side's Wisteria, which I filmed before. It's really tranquil here, it's a vibe. Hey guys, so I definitely went and filmed for like two hours. Whenever I'm in my zone, I'm just blank, like I'm in my zone. So I forget to vlog and it's hard to vlog whilst also filming something else, obviously, because my head needs to be in the game. But I have to go back tomorrow anyway because my um get my my gimbal. What's it called? My drone is dead. So I have to go and film anyway. Hi. Thank you. I love the bypass. Take my 5k. Let me go where I need to go speedy with no randos. Easy, easy. You know what I mean? Like let's go. I love it so much. Oh, I'm going to the tub. Sorry, babes. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, like when I'm in my zone, I'm in my zone. So I was filming a house today, which I loved. I love all these property videos I'm now doing again. It's my, it's one of my loves. It's one of my many loves. I love vlogging as well. I love doing a lot of things um, video related. What is this truck doing? What? Things I wish I could show you. <laughs> This stupid thing that's not working. The... This guy is gonna go reverse on a ramp. A ramp to get you on the bypass is going the opposite direction. A truck, a big truck. Can't make these things up, you guys. I cannot make these things up. Anywho, yeah, I would love if you guys have properties you wanna showcase, you have some properties you wanna, you know, but they used to be good. That's another thing I need to mention which I feel like I've mentioned before why I went MIA on doing these uh, property videos, but personally, if I wouldn't live in it, I'm not gonna film it. I'm gonna be quite frank with you, like, quite frank, like, and to be honest with you, I'm a girl who can envision, I, there's nothing you can put me in in this life that I can't envision my, like, a beautiful life in. Beautiful, I could be a one bedroom, middle of nowhere situation and I can make it look find in my head but if I can't even do that I'm like no 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 no, no, no. quality matters so to me I was like I, I just couldn't justify posting something price is whatever because honestly I'm the middleman I've given you the property it's up to you you can even reach out and be like your property ain't worth that much this is how much I I have this is why I won't believe you and give them the facts because honestly that's how a lot of people sell land here. <laughs> so I don't see why properties would be any different. We got very attached to what we think things are worth, but are they really worth that? No, not really. It's a business, it's a business. So yeah, I would love to do more. I would love to do more. Like I'm really pushing to just get more properties and show you guys what Uganda has to offer. And Uganda in general, take me to Jinja. I actually showed you guys Jinja before, which was nice. I left Toro, Kulu. Like I want to show you guys if you were gonna buy something there, like what is what is your dollar worth, you know, and what can it get you? I love that. So yeah, that's really my goal. So if anyone all have any more people that you feel like need to showcase or market their things, I'm your girl. I'm your baby girl right here. <laughs> anyway, we have a long drive to Entebbe. I don't know why it says an hour from where I was, which was just Chigo, which is we don't know really. I don't know why, but I said an hour. 
I really cannot make out what the things we drive by was on the roads here. <laughs> I wish I just had my dash thingy so I could just show you guys. I really don't make these things up, I swear. Anyway, catch you guys in a time. I'm starving. I'm thirsty. I've been talking for like an hour straight. Um, your girl needs to go. She's to. I need to uh, rejuvenate and like get my get, get my life together. <laughs> or at least views of the lake but um, I'm at the mall and I know it's guaranteed internet so I was gonna go to either Middle East and Kathy Javis remember neither of them has alcohol nor they have patios but no drinks so I'm like what's the point of that <laughs> then I had to park far because there was no parking and I'm like oh they're best western I've never been to this best western I think I walked here once to do something on the internet when we were filming in Entebbe once like a few years back but not to like stay or anything so now i'm here at the best western and they have a one spot with it with um, a wall park to charge i don't know what it is about building places in uganda and no one having proper like mechanics on charging like you should have outlets everywhere every booth crevice everywhere so they don't have it on their patio so i'm inside <laughs> but at least it's like greenery that i'm staying at i guess i'm not gonna be here long i'm gonna meet my uncle soon so when i have like a little snack i just really feel like a glass of wine while i get my work stuff organized and i can't be offline for that long filming and between filming and driving i've been offline for three hours so i need to like log on my email check on things and then continue thank you so this is literally nothing to write home about, but I'm like in those booths. <laughs> and um, there are options. Actually, Pratea is nice in Entebbe, but I actually should have gone there. I should have gone to Pratea because you can, they have Wi-Fi, you can be outside, you can have your drink and be on your laptop. I'm actually sure it's location. It's not far. I just feel like I'm like, we might around here, so it's more convenient. But then I'm like, oh. it's actually not far. Go to Patea, you guys. Yeah, I didn't want to go to Patea. The vibe is vibing more there. It makes more sense. Granted, it doesn't rain. <laughs> what a gigantic lie. I was like, instead of rushing lunch, because I feel like I have to rush lunch right now. Um, I was like, let me just do the potato thing maybe tomorrow. Um, so instead, I'm at Cafe Travers. I'm getting a smoothie to go and a scarf down some samosas and I go chill. <laughs> it was cute thinking I was gonna do a whole patio thing tomorrow. Tomorrow. This menu has become huge. I don't know, did they always have these burgers or is that a new thing? The breakfast one is wild, but. Actually, I guess it should. Oh, I think the breakfast one is its own. Wow, things have changed. Fish. <laughs> Both fish there. Mm. This smoothie is slapping. 
I should have taken a nap, but I'm not gonna even lie. I'm not gonna lie. I love this um, smoothie because it's so filling. Oh. Um, anyway, at the time of my uncle's visit, at great! Got whiskey lady. <laughs> there was such a much needed break. It was so nice to wake up and not hear um, the usual, the church, the cars, the people, the, uh, just, just a lot. <laughs> Living in a city is great for convenience, but if you can find a quiet pocket in a city, that's the goal. That's the life hack, you know? Where's my car? There you go. Anyway, I uh, have to go do drone footage for where I was filming yesterday, which I forgot to do. And then we're gonna go in town to go fabric shopping today, but it, I've left in Denver so late. Um, that's not happening. <laughs> mm -mm. It's not happening. That's something you do at like 10 or whatever. But yeah, I'm enjoying my smoothie. Happy Sunday. So last day of the week, technically. I don't know if you're one of those people who counts. Sunday is the first day or the last day, but to me it's always the last day of my week. And then Monday starts. I feel the Monday blues already. Well, probably because of this weather. It's also, I think it's gonna rain. I already did. And usually it like clears up by now and it's nice and sunny. Nada, nada. Anyway, I have a very basic outfit today. I'm heading for an event. Wisteria X Mona. Their space they've reopened it and it started at 2 i know you guys are always late so it's like 3 15 so i'm like okay let me head over there now please don't mind the mess in the background it's really been a chill weekend and i'm gonna come home, back home and like organize this is all clean and iron laundry so it just needs to be hung i need to cl close the bag behind me so my laptop back organize my gym bag for tomorrow put these lights away yada yada but yeah this is a fit i'm gonna wear uh what uh, heels and then a simple black bag with this so this has been my lazy go-to look lately these pants because they're super cute they're just wide leg all the way down so when I'm in heels you guys have seen these before it's a vibe oh yeah let's go it's a whiskey tang so it'll be cute I don't, I'm also going alone which I don't mind I like really like my own company <laughs> you guys know since being in this mood of like oh, I, don't, I need to get out of here and whatever I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> and Mona being my friend, it's her event, so she's gonna be busy. So it's not like, you know, it's just gonna be, in, we're gonna be like hanging out the whole time. I'm just going to support for a little bit. But I do wanna get groceries at Le Gourmet. Um, I wanna get ground beef, cause I wanna make meatballs this week. Like spaghetti and meatballs would be really nice. Let's see what else I wanna hack up. But yeah, I wanna go now, so I'm going for an hour and I'm back before like, six would be really nice so let's go okay before i leave i was gonna wear a skirt today i was gonna look so cute a little skirt but i was like it looks cold i don't know if it's actually cold but that's how i ended up in trousers but then now i'm like uh, or yeah so I wanted to be covered up but now i'm just a bit more paranoid so i'm gonna throw on this cute black jacket and it'll make sense with the heels because it's black and then my bag is black and gold so it'll all make sense all right let's really go come on be heroic. Eh, you guys, I've run out of makeup. <sighs> I can't even like go close up to what my face looks like right now. What a wow! I cannot wait to hit a Sephora. It's like the first place I'm going. <laughs>
How are you? Thank you. Where 